Hi and welcome to another edition of the Airbrush Show from Scale War Machines. Here's what we'll be looking at this time. In this second series we're going to concentrate on all the accessories that make your airbrush work as best as possible. We're going to be looking at a number of compressors but also all sorts of ancillary products and accessories that can help you get the most out of your airbrushes. A compressor is how you're going to power your airbrush and it's a really important investment. It's just as important as your airbrush and its reliability and power is going to be what will keep you going. Over the years we've learned what makes a good compressor for airbrushing. And this is what we've got for you this time. This is the Iwata Studio Series Smart Jet Pro. It was sent to us by airbrushes.com and we're going to open up the box and do a review. If you want to find out the whole range of different air sources that Iwata makes, you should check out their website, but they have a number of different compressors. This one is somewhere in the middle ground, and this is how it comes packaged. You can see what the compressor looks like on the box. Let's just have a look at some of the features. It's small and compact, it's got a small footprint, it's quiet and reliable, it's got an auto shut-off capacity, you can set the pressure with a regulator, it's got a moisture filter and it boasts powerful and quiet performance. The smart jet technology means it shuts itself on and off when not in use. We'll put current pricing information down below, but without further ado, let's open up the box. Here's what you get. You get all the paperwork, an owner's manual, some sort of guarantee. And the compressor itself is well packed in the box. Well that's certainly an attractive looking compressor. You would have noticed that on top there were a number of accessories, various adapters, an airbrush holder, you get an air hose and there's another adapter. Here is the actual compressor. Good look at it. And it comes with its power cable. Right, first thing you notice is there's an on-off switch there on top. You can see a dial there, pressure dial for the regulator. There's the regulator. It comes in this sort of satin protective metal case and there's four rubber feet that are very stout and hold it very steady. It's certainly very compact and could sit quite comfortably under most desks and even if you have quite a small modelling space this is a pretty good sized unit. This is what's called an oilless piston compressor. So it hasn't got a tank, there's no air tank to store the air. It will simply provide a source of air as and when needed using its smart stop start technology. That's what makes it the Smart Jet Pro. In terms of the accessories then, we've got a Iwata to Badger adapter, Iwata to Pash adapter, and an Aztec adapter, and a vinyl hose. When you're using a compressor what you don't want is moisture in the airline, so it does of course have a moisture trap, or what's called a moisture filter. And all round this looks like a very smart piece of kit. Most modelers would be pleased to have this on public display. It looks pretty much like a work of art in itself. Iwata is of course a well-known brand. It's synonymous with quality. Their airbrushes are fantastic. We use them all the time. All the products that we've reviewed from Iwata have been excellent. Quality looks excellent. The best way we've found to review compressors is to think about what people will factor into their purchase. Clearly this has no tank, so people looking for a compressor with a tank, in other words the motor will compress air and build up a supply of air. With this sort of compressor it's the opposite, as soon as you're drawing air the motor will be running. That also means that there are considerations of how long you can use it for. Then if it's running constantly whenever you spray you need to think about noise and if you're in a quiet environment how much noise it makes is going to be important. When it comes to reviewing air compressors, we find the best way to review them is to run them. Obviously we'll see how loud they are. What we tend to do is use them in anger on a project. We'll therefore be using this compressor in anger on various model projects. We'll start off with our test piece, our handy and familiar test piece. 
and we'll be spraying that with some standard model paints, in this case AK Interactive Real Colours. First of all let's rig it up and listen to how much noise it makes. It's a standard Iwata fit, so we're using it on our Iwata Eclipse. OK, let's turn it on. So there you can hear how much noise it makes and you can see the auto shut off in action. It shuts off pretty quickly. Let's show you how you control the pressure. This has a click up, click down. Most people will be familiar with this kind of pressure regulator. It's very handy to use, very easy. So in order to get a sense of how much noise it makes, we're going to compare it with another compressor. We're going to compare it with our 15A compressor, which we'll feature in another episode of the Airbrush Show, but that is a silent compressor that has an air tank, so it's an oil compressor, very different beast. So pretty quiet. And this is the Iwata SmartJet Pro. The instructions come with advice. The only real maintenance you might need to do is to change the air intake filter possibly and also to remove moisture from the moisture filter. And that's a simple case of unscrewing the little drain at the bottom and soaking up the water. But other than that, it should be pretty maintenance free and easy to use. Another handy feature is the airbrush holder on the top enabling you to store your airbrush when not in use. What we'll do is we'll move this over to the airbrushing area, we'll put it by the extractor and we'll use it to spray our test piece. And you can see it in operation for a long period of time on a model. There you get an idea of the sound and we're just going to put on the extractor so you can see how it compares. That's the noise level of the extractor. And you can hear it's quite hard to detect the noise of the compressor above the extractor. The disadvantage with this sort of compressor is simply that it has what's called a duty cycle. That means it can run for 60 minutes, but you need to let it cool down for 20 minutes. Other than that, it performed really well. The finish it gave was excellent. It was smooth and clear of any moisture. We should say that the price may seem expensive to some people, but as a mid-priced compressor, it should give you excellent service and we've certainly found it's an excellent unit. This is actually the 2016 model and we believe that there's a newer updated model that's come out recently. There are a few design tweaks and differences. You saw and heard that with the extractor running you could barely make out the sound of the compressor. But all in all this is a great compressor, sturdy, strong, well made, well engineered and available now from airbrushes.com. That's all from the Airbrush Show. We hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned to Scale War Machines, the home of model making videos, articles and archive films. Bye. Subscribe for our latest videos.